the sponge buckle. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you gradients in Affinity using transparency and to create a sort of spiral scroll design in the end, but of course, any kind of design now could be created. First thing to do, just going to go to a file and new. And the key thing for this video is the transparent background. I want to just show you the, the gradient on a transparent background. So that's just set that on, click OK. Now, First thing to do, just quickly go over to the gradient tool and just try and it doesn't work. There's a reason. You have to actually create a layer. So that's the key thing. Another key thing to remember, always create a layer. So layer and new layer. So once you've got that now, you can actually quickly add a gradient using the gradient tool. Just that gradient tool. So what I want to do is create an elliptical gradient. So I'm just going to select the elliptical option. And then what you'll see, you've just got this white, bright center and obviously gray background. Well, you can modify, just click there, just over on the gradient, and you can actually just go over to this one. I don't want to change that just yet. I'm just gonna change that. What I want to do is change that to opacity of zero. So there's actually nothing there now. It's just got that white central spot, which of course you could use maybe on an image. You can put a white spot if you want some sort of quick burst of light somewhere. Now, once you've actually got that, what I want to do next is change the other side. And I want to go for, not white, but I'm going to go for an orange. Could go for red, whatever, but that's reasonable. Now, next thing, if you actually chain go over here now, this gradient, and you want to actually duplicate it, and, I'm, and then you use the gradient tool, what happens is it changes the gradient. So if you actually just, if you're happy with this this gradient here. What you need to do is just go over to the move tool and then it just becomes so it's something that won't be changed by anything. So the gradient's there. You can move it around without any mod modification. Okay, next thing to do is hold the Alt key down. But I'm actually going to apply a filter before that because I want to actually have created a sort of spiral scroll. So quick way of doing that is via a layer and a new layer filter layer. And there's twirl down there, just go down the list. Unfortunately, the order is not, well, it's got blurs there. You've got various sharp, unsharp, and then you've got these sort of distortion ones here. So twirl filter, and you can modify. At this point, it doesn't have any effect, but just bring that over here, change the angle, and you can just see, and modify the radius a bit. Okay, and you can just move, stretch that across, change it a bit, modify. Right, I'm happy, with, that's quite a nice scroll, just, so you get can modify the scroll quite nicely just by just moving the mouse over, just changing the position, you can see it altering there, stretching out, or that way, again, some work slightly better with scrolls. Now, I'm just going to go for that one. That's reasonable. Now, just go again over to here. And what I can do, I can actually duplicate that. So I'm just going to, you can see the layer over there. You just bring that down. You can see the twirl is connected to that layer. And now when I actually duplicate the layer, holding the Alt key down, standard like Photoshop, hold the Alt key down, you actually can create a duplicate. And it's another duplicate and another duplicate and another duplicate and another duplicate and you can see all of them and if you just go over here again you can actually see they've all got their individual twirls you could actually at this point of course modify the twirl I'm just going to keep it the same for all of them and you can fill obviously the entire image with those twirls and just go down there as well so right I've got a nice sort of swirly spiral scroll design now you might turn around at this point and think well i want to change the color don't want to go with you can actually just right click on there just to get rid of all the selections so you don't have anything selected so just want to right click there so it's nothing selected now now if you want to change the color of this, this is quite easily done by a layer and new adjustment layer and then just go down another thing this is the unfortunately this list is not in order so you have to quickly look down uh, there's a number of options but hsl adjustment perfectly reasonable and just move that over there and just gonna 
go for a nice reddish color. And there you have it, you've got a nice... Now, that's actually applied, because I hadn't done any ink selected, applied to all of the underlying. Now, if I actually wanted to... Let's go back, just to show you. You can actually go back and say, select that one. Then go to layer, and new adjustment layer, HSL, and then modify it. That still goes on top, which is not what I wanted. Drag that down there, right. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you. Actually, that is now selected just purely for that layer. So you can just change the color. I don't want that, I wanted it actually for all of them. So just gonna, do to actually modify at this point, where you can't actually see the dialogue, just double click on there and then change the color. Or saturation, of course, you can make it go or super saturated as well, as well as lighter or much darker. And there's also the blending modes, of course, but it's not going to be much good. There's nothing behind it. Okay, that's a quick run through of how to create an interesting sort of spiral thing with gradients and transparency. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.